if you use a paid SSL certificate on your Synology NAS, even if that certificate is valid for five years, you will need to renew the certificate every year. So in this video, we're going to walk through the process of renewing an SSL certificate. If we first log into the Station Manager using our administrator's credentials, and then select Control Panel. Within Control Panel, we then need to choose Security and select Certificate. We can tell that our paid certificate is being used by our NAS because it is marked as default. However, as the date on that certificate is colored orange, we also know that it is due to expire. Let's update our paid certificate by highlighting it and then choosing Settings. When the setting panel opens, if we select Advanced, we will find an option called Create Certificate Signing Request, CSR. By selecting this option, we will open a wizard that we now need to complete. We're going to start by leaving Private Key Length on its default. Next, in Common Name, we need to use the same name that we used with our previous certificate. In the email field, we now need to type the email address for the administrator of our NAS. This is so that specific files can then be sent to that email address for validation. In location, we need to set the country where our SSL certificate will be used. We then need to fill the state or province, city and organization fields. As we are a home user, for organization, we used our domain name. However, depending on what you're using your certificate for, you may be required to use your corporate name instead. Finally, as we are using this certificate in a NAS at home, we're going to use NA in the department field. After clicking next, we are prompted to download a private key and certificate. Both of these files will be important later when we renew our SSL certificate. After downloading the files for our certificate signing request, we can close the settings window and then to make setting up our new certificate easier, place the downloaded folder on our desktop. We now need to open the control center for the account where we originally purchased our SSL certificate. While the layout to your control center might be different to ours, it will probably work in the same basic way. If we select SSL certificates, we will see a list of our current and previously used certificates. From this list, we need to locate the current SSL certificate being used by our NAS. While the certificate that we are using was purchased for two years, as this type of SSL certificate is time limited, we're going to need to select reissue. We now need to confirm that we understand the lifetime limit of our SSL certificate. After selecting Got It, we need to enter the CSR information that we downloaded from our NAS. If we open the archive folder on our desktop and then open the server.csr file using a text editor, we can copy the whole contents of the file to memory. Next, if we return to our web browser and in the field called enter CSR, we paste the contents of our server.csr file, the primary domain field should then display the domain name for our NAS. When we select Next, we're asked to confirm that we own the domain that we want to assign to the certificate. While this can be done in a number of ways, we're going to use the option Receive an email. In the Approver email field, we need to enter our email address. However, as this field offers up a number of options, we're going to need to make sure that the email address is correct. After clicking Next, we're presented with a Review and Submit page. Let's select Submit. We're now presented with a details page for our SSL certificate. 
As you can see, the status of the SSL certificate is currently set to pending, as we need to confirm that we are the owners of the NAS the certificate has been assigned to. Let's minimize our browser and open our email. In our email, we have a message from the certification authority for our SSL certificate. We're now asked to validate our certificate by copying a validation code and then clicking on a link to a web page. On the SSL certificate validation page that opens, we simply need to paste our code and then select Next. We're then presented with a message confirming that our certificate has been validated and that we will shortly receive a new certificate via email. Let's close this web page and return to the control panel for our SSL certificate. If we now refresh this page, the status for our certificate should change from pending to active. We now need to select Download and move the zip file containing our certificate to our desktop. Next, we need to extract the zipped file. Returning to the Station Manager in our web browser. In Certificate, we now need to select Add. When the Create a Certificate wizard opens, we're going to choose the default option Add a new certificate. After clicking Next, we're asked if we want to import our certificate files or get a certificate from Let's Encrypt. Once again, we need to use the default option, which is Import Certificate. If we select Browse next to the Private Key field and open the Archive folder on our desktop, we need to choose the file Server.key. After selecting Upload, that file is added to the Private Key field. Next, with the certificate field highlighted, if we once again browse to our desktop, but this time open the folder to our SSL certificate, we need to choose the file ending in .crt. After uploading the .crt file, we're ready to import our new SSL certificate onto our NAS. When we choose OK, we will see both our old and new SSL certificates. If we highlight our new certificate and then choose Action, from the drop down menu, we then need to select Edit. In the panel that pops up, we need to tick the option Set as Default Certificate. When we click OK, our new certificate becomes the default certificate that our NAS will use. We can now delete the old certificate that's about to expire. To do this, we simply need to highlight that certificate and select Action. From the drop down menu, if we choose Delete, as our new SSL certificate will now need to be used by our NAS, a number of services will need to restart. When we are returned to the desktop of Distation Manager, we need to check that our certificate is working. So if we open Control Panel and then select Security and then return to Certificate, with our new certificate highlighted, if we click on Settings, under Configuration, we need to check that our new certificate is being used by the correct services on our NAS. After we have confirmed that the services on our NAS are using the correct SSL certificate, we can close Control Panel. Now as a final test, if we go to the address bar in our browser and click on the padlock icon, we can see the certificate our NAS is using. If we select Show Certificate, we will see information relating to our new certificate along with the date our certificate will expire. We now have a full year before we once again have to renew this SSL certificate by repeating the same process that we've just completed.